let's solve these equations via what we call the square root property. The square root property says that if x squared equals a, if x squared equals a, then x equals plus or minus the square root of a. So we're going to be effectively taking the square root of both sides in these equations. So for the first one, square root of x squared and square root of 18 would yield, well let's see, the square root of x squared, we're just going to write down x, although I guess by the square root property I should technically say plus or minus. Oh no, sorry, because I wrote it the correct way here, so I just have a variable on the left and then the a is a constant. But on the right, we're going to have to be a little bit careful here because we have the square root of 18. That's not a perfect square. There are, uh, there's no integer which multiplied by itself yields 18. So we're going to use a previous technique that we've discussed here in class. That 18 is equal to 9 times 2, and 9 is equal to 3 times 3. So if we think of this as a prison, then we have a pair of 3's that escape from prison, and we have a 2 that's left over in prison. So the final answer to this problem would be x equals plus or minus 3 rad 2. Second one, let's do this one in green to get some creativity in there. Square root, square root. y squared, we write down the variable, that's a y, equals, for 32, let's draw this out over here so we have a little bit more room. 32 is equal to, among other things, it's equal to 4 times 8, 16 times 2 would also be valid. 4 is 2 times 2, 8 is 4 times 2, and 4 is 2 times 2. So as far as escaping from prison here, we have a pair of 2's and a pair of 2's, and they escape from prison, 2 times 2 is 4, and then we have a leftover 2. So that means there'd be a 2 left over in prison. Oh no, I forgot my plus minus. Well, not a big deal. We'll just say 4 red 2 and negative 4 red 2. This is an alternative and still correct way of answering the problem. Plus minus covers both of them, but here we can just say positive and negative separately. So pause the video and try this one on your own. z squared equals 12. On the board here, I'm going to do it in orange. Square root of z squared, square root of 12. The square root of z squared is z. 12 is going to break down into a 4 times a 3, and 4 breaks down into a 2 times a 2. So we have the square root of, well, let's see, the 2's break out, so plus minus by the square root property, 2, and then a little left over 3. So we get a 3 there. So it looks like the final answer here is going to be z equals plus or minus 2 rad 3. Or alternatively, you could say z equals 2 rad 3, comma, negative 2 rad 3.